flaming butts to send. If you if you go out of faction territory, so go out of faction territory. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I was actually requesting to. All right, uh, hold on. Really, it's everywhere. What? All right. The so the blaze farm is working. Um. Go out of faction territory. It's really funny. I said a description. Hold on. Where? Um, if you leave the faction. The leave faction. Oh, you got to the iron. My friend. I think I'm just gonna leave the exit to this area open. Where? I'm gonna leave the exit to the base open, and I'll just shut the trap door. Uh. If you leave faction territory, it says flaming butts descend. Oh, that's why they can't go through. One of the doors is closed. What? Someone's been building out here. Who the heck? Oh, that was me. I just kind of built like a random thing to make it seem like because the claim land goes all the way up, right? Hey, someone is at the door that I don't know. Okay. Um. Outside, there's some cobblestone structure right outside our base. Yeah, I made that on purpose to make it seem like that was the claimed land. Okay. So don't worry about it. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, I'm gonna start our, actually our video already started. Oh, it does? Yeah. Noise. So, uh, let's show them what we did. Where are you? Um, I am up in the second underground chamber. So guys, Tooth Got You has been doing a lot of stuff off camera, as you can yeah, probably tell. So up there was where our storage room used to be, but now the storage room area has changed. See, there's it's this over here. guy. I don't know who this guy is, but apparently Tooth Got You knows him. Yeah. He helped me build some of the place. He helped me build the spawner area. Um, I'm aware that 1.9 came out, but the server we play on doesn't use 1.9 yet. So we have to play with 1.8. So if you were looking forward to seeing a 1.9 video, uh, we might do it in the future when the server updates. So, here's the stuff that we made. Over here is some farms, and I don't know why there's signs here, but there's nothing underground. But, down here is another place for mobs. So we have different spawners areas now. Oh, what's this? A zombie. So there's a zombie area here. We have 12 level 4 zombie spawners. Mm -hmm. you, should have them fall, you should have them fall through um, a lava wall so that they start dying instantly. Well, my sword kills with one hit. But still, it is a five hundred three fire aspect one. If you didn't here, even have to come in here, it would be faster. Cool. It's a really nice sword here. But uh, I'm working on the kind of making like a little thing around it where you can kill them. Don't pick the blocks though, otherwise all the baby zombies are gonna come out and kill us. Okay. 
Imagine if we just let them all out. That would be funny. A massive oh my god, surge. there's at least 2,000. Yeah. And then here's all the blazes. Hi, blazy, blaze, blaze. You are I'm not nice. Sure. You should- I have an idea for this. You should yep. let the water pour in and it'll kill all of them. Well, yeah, but you have to kill them. You have to actually kill them in order to get the blaze rods in XP. Oh, really? Yeah, which kind of stinks, but whatever. Iron- it's the only thing that it works for is iron golems. Okay. Which is why I made well, that, because then we don't have to worry about it. We have a lot of spawners. Alright, well I have to go, otherwise I'm gonna die. So, there's- I'm at like two hearts and I only have a wooden hunger bar. Here's an iron farm over this way. And... Right here. See, there's tons of iron and lots of roses, too. Oh, they're actually poppies, but I call them roses because I'm old school. <laughs> That's what they used to be called. True. I have like, I think like four stacks in my inventory. Yeah, I have four stacks of iron in my inventory. Now, blazes you can sell for more. The reason why I made the iron golem farm, which was kind of worthless at the when I thought, really was actually kind of useful because when we're working on something else, they will go ahead and die and drop their loot. Well, we can farm blazes and whatnot. What are all these different people you invited? There's only, uh, the two. IMM I knew first. And... Domo, he was like another guy who was IMM's friend. I see you made one of these for me. Yeah, I just went ahead and did that. Um, I'm gonna get some also, the brewing in. room is down here. We do need another warp farm, though. Yeah, that's still... You should move the nether warp farm down deeper. Because this is the main area. Hi. Hello. I'm putting away Nico. some of the stuff that I had from before. The zombie farm is really only for XP. Like, I haven't really, uh... I've been kind of setting up my enchantment, or my, uh, XP, in case I need to build anything, or upgrade anything. But I have 45 levels only from the zombie farm. Okay. I have 22 levels, but I yeah. never went to the zombie farm and got many, so I think that's just a, from before. Alright, so we're gonna need to, uh, I'm gonna need to fix up the blaze farm, cause like, they're kind of shooting at you and it gets all, it's a little bit of a problem. You should just, uh, maybe, no, that wouldn't work. I wonder if you just let water drip in or something, would it do less damage and then you could finish the blazes off and get the rods? Alright, well I kind of fixed it up. A tiny bit. We need a faster way to get down there. But now we can each have two homes, because there's a faction home and our home. Yeah, I know. So, I'm going to set... My I can still have my home in the main section. And I'm just gonna keep it there, but I'm thinking of making a sky fort, and then but it won't be connected to the ground, and I can just use my other home to go up there. Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. So the faction home I set for uh, I think it, we only have one for the entire faction. Am I right? Yeah. And it's right here. So that here. one is actually going to be here. 
So just do slash F set home to set that. Okay, and then. Oh look, I M M is here. Huh? I M M I is here. Yeah, he was the um. He was one of the. He was like the first person who was helping out because like one day I got bored and this one guy needed XP, so I let him use my zombie farm. And then eventually, long story short, he became in our faction and now we're together and all and whatnot. You, you can't invite anyone else who you don't know here. I trust oh, all the not. people you've invited so far, but I have a great suspicion of most people on the server. So, yeah, me too. Um, I am in the, last, really cool. the last five times I built a massive house and it was underground, one of my friends always invited some random person from the faction, from or from another faction there, and they ended up griefing the whole place, blowing it up, taking our stuff, and and claiming the land. So, I don't want you to invite anyone else here that you don't know. But you can invite friends and stuff. So I don't really yeah. care about them. This was really only going to be it. Like, I wasn't going to invite anyone else. Okay. I am M, though. He was fine. When he invited Domo, guys, I was kind of really suspicious. So, like, I was following him with my diamond sword for, like, the first... For a while, actually. But now he's cool. And we are partnered with these people who I don't really trust the most. Who are they? Their name, their faction name is Faction, well, it's Star Star Faction. Um, so, could you get me some coal, because I don't know where everything is in this room, and it's a really right. big room. Top floor is all blocks, or mostly blocks. Blocks and enchantment at the very back. Alright. Go down one. These ones right here are for, well, that one's, uh... On the redstone stuff, this one's food, um, organic stuff, this one right here, behind you, that's our, like, Your good materials? Stuff. Materials, yes. Yeah, I took some coal so that I could use that. Yeah. I'm gonna smelt the gold. Alright. Oh yeah, also, I think it's on this level. Let's see. Is it? No, it's on the one above. On the one above, we also have a, uh, I think it's starting right somewhere. So in this chest right here, yeah, it's for um, ores that we never get to like smelt. Why? Or like ores that I can mine with my efficiency three pick. Yeah, why do you want those? To They're not efficiency fortune three. Oh, I see what the point is. You can mine them and get more. Oh. Um, Eight emeralds from two blocks. That's good. Okay. So I won't mess with those. Yeah. So let's start smelting some of this stuff. So let's just... Alright. There's that. Cool. Let's go ahead and mine that. Okay, so I'm going to stop now, and in the next episode, I'll start uh, on the Sky Fort. Although, I might start it now. And I'll just start building a pillar up, and then, um, and then I'll set my home up on a platform and mine the pillar back down. And then I'll start, I'll do some more work on it next episode. You may like a, like a... 10 by 10 platform up there. You don't want to fall off. And when you go up there, don't, like, put away your diamond armor. Okay. In case you fall and die. Um, I'm not going to make it real big first. And I'm going to make it out of our faction zone. So that it's less suspicious. Because people will check our faction zone if they see, if they think that we're hiding something.
So let's, yeah. Let's mark and the reason why I kind of, I purposely kind of mined up the top area was to make sure you know, got griefed. Okay. So. If you want, like, randomly, you can... I think I'm just going to go ahead and, like, mine, like, all the nether wart. Oh, there's a lot of, uh, wheat and nether wart we have. I need to get some cobble to start my project. We have a ton down in the storage area. It's kind of simple once you get the hang of it. First, uh floor is all blocks. Second floor is kind of like items. You need to put more water because sometimes it does damage to you even though there's water there. If um, if there's the water's not deep enough. I usually just climb down the fence. Can I use this Oh, here's some cobblestone. I was going to use the smooth stone, but I can just use the cobblestone. Well, we have some in the... We have plenty of cobblestone and smooth stone. Also, just in case you didn't know, if you, like, hit the chest with your hand, just one little click, you can uh, sort them. Okay. So, like, everything will be organized. I'm starting my pillar up into the sky. So, guys, I think we'll end this video here once I finish my pillar. And then I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye. Bye.